What's going on everyone? My name's Chris and I know why you're here. You're here because you have that annoying little message in the top of your Unreal viewport that says you're over your texture pool streaming budget. How do you figure out what your budget is and how do you change your budget? I know the answer to both of these. It's really simple and I'm going to show you how. Let's jump into it. Okay, we need to do three things. Number one, we need to figure out what streaming pool is and how big our pool should be. Number two, we need to figure out how to change the streaming pool in the editor. And then number three, I'm gonna show you how to change it more permanently so you don't actually ever see that error again. So firstly, what is a texture streaming pool? It's a memory allocation for the textures that are streaming within your scene. And how do we figure out what it should be? Well, first, we need to know what it currently is. So my scene is 461.957 meg over budget. Well, how do I know what the budget is? That's actually nice and easy. I'm going to come down to the command down here, and I'm going to type in stat, S-T-A-T, -T, space streaming, P-R-E-A-M-I-N-G. And that's going to bring up this little UI here. Now, the one that I'm interested in is for me, one, two, three, four, fifth one down that says required pool. For me, it says the used max is 561.96 and the pool capacity is 100 megabytes. But as we can see, the required pool of 561 is 461 meg over the pool limit. So the second thing we need to do is to change the pool to make sure that we have enough. We know that we need 561. I'm gonna push it up to 600 just to be sure. Now changing the texture streaming pool is done with a console variable. Again, very easy. I'm gonna post the console variable down below. So down in the box down here, we're gonna type r.streaming.pool size. There it is at the top. I'm going to click on that and then hit space and then now I'm going to enter the number that I want. So I want 600. So I'm going to hit 600, hit return. We can see that the error has disappeared and we can also see that the pool capacity has jumped up to 600. Okay, now for number three is how to make this change permanent. Now what do I mean by that? So I figured out that I want my pool size to be at 600. I don't want it any bigger or any smaller than that. I'm going to close this down and then I'm going to relaunch that project. And what you'll see is that the changes that we made using the console variable is actually a per session. And by that, what I mean is that when we relaunch it, the streaming pool will actually reset to its default value. Now for me, if I do my stat streaming again, now that this is launched, paste that in there. We can see it's set to 800, which is not the 600 that I said to before. If we want to make 600 my default, we just need to go in and edit one of the configs for this particular project. Now, don't worry, I'm going to give you two lines that you need to put in there. It's real simple and you, you can't really make a mess of this. So I'm going to close down this project and then I'm going to browse to the project folder and in the config, and I'm going to change the default engine.ini. Now, as I said, you can't really go wrong with this, but I always make a backup of things for safety. So I'm going to control C and then V the default engine. So I have a copy just in case anything goes wrong. And then the default engine.ini, I'm going to open that up with Opad. Now, again, don't worry, this looks complex. It's really not, it's all good. The thing that you're looking for is in square brackets, this script slash engine dot render settings. And you want to paste two things out down at the bottom here. The first one is we want to tell that we are using texture streaming. So that's R dot texture streaming equals true. And make sure you get the capitalization correct. Again, copy it from below and you'll be absolutely fine. And then the second one is we are similar to what we already used is we want to 
set the value. So we're going to use r.streaming.pullSize equals 600. I'm going to save that, close it down, come back to Unreal, and I'm going to launch it. And then once we launch it, we should see that the texture streaming pool is set to 600. There's two ways we can do that. We can do the stat streaming. But one other thing I'll show you is if we open up the output log as soon as it's finished, right near the bottom, we we'll see the log is actually setting the texture streaming pool to 600 meg for me there. Just to prove that works, put in the stat streaming. I know we can see we have it set to 600. So I hope you found that useful, got rid of that annoying error message and got you to start to think about your texture pool streaming sizes. I hope you like this video. If you do, please like and subscribe. It really does help me out. And if you have anything that you ever want a tutorial on, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to get a tutorial out for you. Until next time, take it easy.